we find the super rare Willy Wonka miniature craft in the Miniverse mystery box of craft kit resin DIYs? Yes, we have the Miniverse Make It Mini Foods Spring Edition. And in these mystery kits, we actually know what we're going to be getting. In this case, there are three projects and they clearly tell you on the labels what you're going to get. But there is one that is kind of hidden and it is the elusive Willy Wonka chocolate bar. So in this set, the main three are the ham with pineapple and cherries, which I've never personally tried before, but it's really interesting and I feel like I have to try it at some point. We also have an adorable Easter basket, which looks like we have some eggs and chocolate bunnies. And of course, tiny cupcakes, which kind of looks like an afternoon tea. And one of the things I'm curious about is that it says for some reason, color reveal. I'm not sure what exactly this means for the Easter basket, but I do have two versions of the Easter basket. So we're gonna try it out and see if there's a color reveal of some sort. And at the time of filming this, I really don't know if we're going to be getting the Willy Wonka. And there's a huge community, especially on Reddit, that tells you that now they know how to almost precisely predict what's on the inside of these mystery balls based on tiny pinholes that are situated around the actual ball itself. So if you're interested in checking these out, I will post a TikTok and a link to the Reddit. So that way, if you're hunting for something specifically, you can hopefully get it. But as of now, they do not have one for the spring edition. So I'm kind of going in uh, with a lot of luck, hopefully. The only hint I have is that the Willy Wonka should be a lighter box from the ham edition. So I got three ham and we're gonna try and weigh them. Let me know which one of these projects is your favorite, whether it's to make or to actually eat. I'm more of a savory kind of person, so I would definitely be more interested in the ham. Oh, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will turn you into a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. And by the way, if you're looking for something new to try this spring, why not try my very own craft kit? Take it on, future Jackie. By the way, did you greens know I have my very own craft kit? And this kit is a bear pour acrylic paint kit. As you can see, you get tiny bears that you can turn either to keychains or put them on your bags or backpack while totally customizing them to your preferences. As you can see, Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both had fun with these kits. I will link their videos down below so you can take a full watch. And you can either customize these bears with air dry clay or go straight into the acrylic pour part, which is obviously the fun part. And you can make so many different color combinations and even customize them with detail brushes that also come in the kit. This one really does have everything you need, including six mini bears, eight ready to pour vibrant color paints, silicone trays, spatulas, mixing cups, gloves, stirring sticks, and even a divider cup where you can put up to five different colors so they don't mix and match together. And a custom foldable metal rack that we made specifically for this kit so the bears can hang dry. And even a mat for your desk. A full list of everything inside will be on the website, but you can really customize these bears to however way you like, and it is so fun and it's really hard to stop. And especially now that we have a promotion for you for 15% off until March 15 with using the code BEARBEAR15. Did I mention you also get a sticker pack in there with nine to collect plus one holographic? And if you get the golden card, that is the golden ticket. And I will list the prizes that you can get with the golden ticket, including choosing my next vlog. Thank you again eternally for all the support you guys have been giving me. And I'm just excited to share this project with you. All right, so the first thing I want to start with is the Easter basket. All right, so we're just gonna move you and you over here and let's check out what comes on the inside to make these tiny Easter baskets. Let's go ahead and open. I don't know why, I always struggle. There you go. Yes. Oh, by the way, apparently if you do have a golden bottom, I think that's when you know you have the Willy Wonka, but I'm not sure. I can't confirm that since I haven't really looked. All right, let's see what surprises we have. We have one, two, base, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's more than usual. And then we have the little display base where we can put it over here and we can put basically our item on it in order to display it. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can actually put it in here and it should clip. Nope, it does not wanna clip on the inside. That's fine. I will just display it like this. I don't care. You think I care? I don't care. <laughs> I don't know why this is such a hard time here. No. Ah, 
I got it. Let me put this in here. Voila. Now we have a little display base. Cute. Okay, let's see our surprises. Our first bag says thank you with a little chick sitting on the inside. This is a chick, right? Almost looks like Togibi Smile. And here it says have an excellent day. <laughs> And what do we have? Oh my goodness. We have the tiny basket and it is made of a silicon. So it is a little bendy. And if we look closer, we can definitely see the little, I guess, weaves, right? I don't know what they're called when you make baskets, but here it is. Next here, it says jump into spring. And we have, oh my goodness. This is so pink. Happy Farms grade A mini eggs. Let's open you up. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is cute. But, oh, is that what they mean by color reveal? No way, will the colors show up with UV light? I'm really curious. We have a half a dozen eggs. They're so tiny. And I can't tell if they have any color, but we'll find out soon. Next, it says just keep it cool. What do we get? A tiny bowl. Interesting. I don't know what we're going to be using this for, but I'm excited. And here it says, have a hoppy day. And it's a little bunny. A bunny's really hard to see though. It's almost the same color as the wrapper. The only thing that gives it away is the fact that there's eyes. That's it. And what do we get? Oh, okay. We have packing stuff in green. Hop to it. That's cute. And then oh, I'm guessing this should be our resin if we do get resin. This one says bun sunbaked. These are really hard to read. They really need to put a better outline on this. Sun baked sweets with bunny ears on top of the sun. Again, these are really hard to read even in real life. And this has nothing to do with the camera. It's just hard to read. And what do we have here? Oh my goodness, we have a choco bunny. That's so cute. Here's what the box looks like in the back. The side, oh my goodness, that is really tiny. Let's see if, we, if the camera can even catch that. Yumminess, total smiles, and choco goodness. My goodness, that is tiny. But the choco bunny looks super, super cute. Let's take it out of the box. Come here, choco bunny. And it comes with a background. That's cute detailing. I really love this. You're almost as tiny as my thumbnail. Look at that. Look at you. Very cute. And and next is going to be, what is this? Something says mini, okay, nothing else. We have the little plier things in order to grab our items if needed. And the top display is actually bunny shaped. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's basically for the cap cover. So you can put it right on top like this. It's kind of like covering things with it, like us up. And the last item says, again, have a hoppy day with the almost invisible bunny. It's really flat, so I'm guessing this is going to be paper. Is that what it is? What are you? We have a ribbon and bag set. Okay, it makes sense because in the preview that we have in the guide, it shows us that we're supposed to, look at these eggs, they're so colorful, that we're supposed to wrap it in a plastic wrapping and put a ribbon. Okay, let's see how that works. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is exciting. So the way we reveal our egg color is by putting some water inside this bowl and then dipping the eggs in the water and our color should be revealed. Okay, it doesn't say if it's cold water or hot water. So I'm just gonna put room temperature water. All right, everything is pretty pale in this set. So we're gonna bring in our trusty felt just to add a little bit of color to everything. <laughs> Everything's just so pale. And this is the dipping thing that we're supposed to put our egg into it like a so, and we're gonna dip the egg in what am i supposed to do oh look at that the white is coming off oh my god you know what i think i need a bowl of bigger this is a little inconvenient i got you i don't like this chalkiness but here we go we have a color reveal and our first one is a striped blue with white now i don't like this because now we're gonna have to change water every single time so i'm gonna go ahead and get a bigger bowl forgive my humor but i found the best best container for this <laughs> here we go we're gonna dip the next one i think we're just gonna Oh gosh, that is, wait, you know what? That is not the best container. That is a little, you know what? Maybe it is. What happens if I close it? <gasps> is it gonna splash everywhere? And I just shake it. You know what? This is actually kind of fun. There, you know what? I kind of like this. All right, the question is, how do we fish you out? I'm gonna go in manually. Put my finger, oh my goodness, not my felt. No. Oh my God. Yeah, I did not think this through. <laughs> I am smart. There we go. <gasps> a golden egg. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and plop. Another one, we shake you. I really like this shaking motion. Maybe they should think about something like this instead. Voila. Next one we have is a striped green and white. You know what? Let's go ahead and put the three other ones. So that's two and next one. Voila. And shake a shake up. 
This is way more fun. Maybe it's just me, I like the sound. All right, let's see our first egg of the three. We have striped pink. Oh, another one that is also pink, but this is a little squiggly. And the last of the three, we have another blue one, but this one is dotted. And let's check them out all dried up. They look really cute. I really love that extra added step because we do not get any kind of resin. This is the most crafting we're going to do for this specific project. Oh my goodness, no, not my eggs. I need to put them all in one basket. Get it? Putting all my eggs in a basket. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so I put them back in here for now until we figure out what else is next on the instructions. And now it looks like, okay, we just, <laughs> that's that's it. Just put the eggs in there and just decorate it and close it up. That's, that's it. Okay, we're gonna try and follow as best as we can, but it looks like we can only put three eggs on the inside, including the chocolate bunny. So here's our basket and here is our packing stuff. We're gonna open you up, take out our stuffing. I don't think we're gonna be putting all of it. That's way too much. That's about half the stuffing. I think half the stuffing should be more than enough. There we go. We're gonna put our choco bunny. Kind of want our choco bunny to be facing the outside. So we're gonna do this. Yes. And for the eggs, I think we're gonna put blue, a pink one. Oh gosh. My biggest worry is that the choco bunny is gonna get hidden. So we're gonna try and put the eggs as low as possible. And maybe even the golden one. Because the green one is just kind of going to hide. I'm gonna do this. I have a feeling it's gonna move. I really wish they gave us maybe some kind of adhesive of some sort, maybe even double tape if they don't wanna give us glue, but something, because I feel like everything's just gonna start rattling everywhere. I'm gonna try and compress as best as I can. That's as good as it gets. And here we have the ribbon and bag. How do I open you up? Let's get you, like a saw. So let's see what that bag looks like. I think it's just a regular baggie. Oh, it really is a regular baggie. How do I do this? Instructions say to just wrap it up. Okay, and we're gonna take our ribbon out. So let's untwirl you. But my guess is that the bottom should be flat enough. There we go. Flat enough for the basket. There you go. There you go. We got this. Beautiful. Bunny, don't you dare fall. Bunny, don't you, don't you, bunny, no. Bunny, no, bunny. <laughs> bunny, no. Bunny, I want you leaning to the right. There you go. We're just gonna crunch it up and ribbon it up. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna make a knot first. Here we go, live, <laughs> in real time. Gonna bring it low, gonna make a knot. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. And then we're gonna basically tie our shoes. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to tie my shoes. <laughs> I got this, I got this. Come on, tie your shoes. Got it, that is a big bow. Ta-da! And you can all obviously cut more of those ribbon parts, but this is what it looks like. Very cute, I like this. I don't know if it's going to stay in place, but my guess is just don't move it too much. Next, we have our cupcakes. And let's see, we have one, two, Get these out of the way. Three, four, five, six surprises. And of course we have our cute little stand, which you could just push together and display your items. And the first baggie says jump into spring. It feels like a flat item. I'm guessing this is gonna be the cupcakes most likely. And you are. Oh, look at you. My goodness, these look really good. The shading on this is absolutely phenomenal. Hang on, let's get you open. Come on, come on. There you go. <gasps> no, stop. Look at that. Comes in a kind of checkered bottom. And the shading on this is beautiful. I'm actually curious if they all come with the same color. Yeah, all of them have the checkered, checkered green. Yeah, checkered green, checkered green all the way. Very cute, my goodness, these are beautiful. Makes me want to eat a cupcake and I don't like cupcakes. Before y'all start yelling at me, I really, I keep telling y'all, I am not a sweet person. I'm a sweet person, but I don't like sweets. I'm not a sweet person is what I'm trying to say. I'm just salty. I really do prefer savory. Here we have keep cool. And you are, oh, is that the frosting? Cream cheese frosting. You see, that I like. I'm not a buttercream person. I really will not eat things with buttercream on them. There we go. I'll probably scrape off most of the buttercream because it's just it's just too sugary for me. Whereas with the cream cheese, it's less sugary. I could do that. And here it says, Happy Sun Creamery Cream Cheese Frosting. And I absolutely love the little sun that's wearing bunny ears and holding a carrot. And here again is what it looks like all the way around. What does it say? back here. There's so many little labels. I don't, I don't have the nails for this. 
There it is. It says, happy cow approved, always fresh. And let's see what this looks like. Let's twist you open. It's gotta be pretty thick, I'm hoping. She is thick, beautiful. And this one says, thank you, have an excellent day. Oh, there goes our trays. Put this together, like a saw. No, like a saw. Oh, there you go, okay. It has a very specific way to put it in because it's kind of like a half circle, more than half a circle. It's like a two thirds of a circle. Voila, so here's our display. Next we have uh, sun-baked sweets with a little sun. And oh no, stop. These are adorable. We have little bunny ears and carrots. So these are our tiny decorations. We have four different ears and four carrots. Look how tiny they are compared to my thumb. Okay, you can fit like eight carrots on my thumbnail. Have a happy day, transparent bunny. You are our sprinkles. And the sprinkles come in tiny beads of yellow, green, and pink. Very spring Easter-ish. And I'm guessing we're going to be getting a frosting knife in here. We have our little tongs, a frosting knife, which I figured. And then we have the top part of the cap that is bunny. So we could just pop you in, voila. All right, let's check out the instructions. And according to the instructions, just do everything, but frost it first and then put it in sunlight for five to 10 minutes. Now, for those of you who don't know UV resin, it's basically a liquid or in this case, a creamy texture that when you put it in sunlight, it hardens and becomes a glossy plastic type material. But since this is Canada, and we're still having quite intense storms, I'm not gonna see the sun for a few weeks. So we're going to be using a UV light instead, which is going to basically act like the UV from the sunlight. And it's only gonna take us like two minutes instead of 10. Now again, they don't really tell us to do anything specific. They're like, hey, use the cream, use the decorations, have fun. So, okay. One of the things I really want to try is just dunking the actual muffins in here by taking it and just shoving it in there. If I do this, Am I gonna have a nice consistency? And the answer is, yeah, we can get away with this. Like quite well too. I don't know, how high is it supposed to be? According to the image, not so much. But we could, we could definitely layer it. Okay, let's take the frosting knife thing. Where's the frosting knife? There you go. I'm gonna take you like a saw, put you on top like a saw. That is a nice frosting. Okay, that is cute. I like that. I'm gonna put you here, voila. So let's take these out. Which way am I supposed to open them? This way or that way? Am I do am I messing up? I am definitely messing up. Okay, there goes a carrot. <laughs> we'll put a carrot here. We'll take one of the bunny ears. Oh gosh, you know what? We'll just take them all out. Come on, come on, voila. All right, so I went ahead and put a yellow paper underneath our cupcake because everything was just white and the decoration is also going to be white. And I have our little bunny ears. So we're gonna go ahead. Gosh, I feel like I need two of the tongs. I'm just gonna take from the previous project. So I feel like we're gonna hold this in place. Oh gosh, please do not move. Hold this in place, shove you on top. I guess, oh gosh, oh gosh, there you go. Cute. And we're gonna take our UV light and shine it right on top for approximately a minute or two. A few minutes later. And here is our bunny cupcake. You can see that the frosting and the ear are together permanently, but this is not the way they tell us to decorate. If we look closely, if I find the instructions, where are you? How <laughs> was this a mess? <laughs> oh my God. They tell us to decorate it on the tray itself. So we're gonna go ahead, decorate on the tree itself, which I'm guessing is going to end up speeding up the process to a certain degree. Not that you need to worry about speeding up the process when you're crafting, definitely take your time. There's no rush, enjoy it. I'm gonna do probably three at a time, staggered like this so that I have space to work on the others. And we're gonna be generous with our frosting, like so. Shove it right on top. Oh gosh, do not, do, no, 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 no. You stay, I'm doing you in the, no, on the tray so that I can do this right. I thought this would be easier. I think my method is actually easier. Yeah, I don't like this method. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna do just one this way because I have less control. So I'm gonna add a little bit more frosting just to give it a little bit more height. Voila. And we're gonna take our sprinkles and we're just gonna go crazy on that one. Oh, that is good. That is good. All right, now we bring in our UV light and we're gonna shine it. We're gonna leave it there for just a couple of minutes. A few minutes later. All right, so it's been two minutes. 
let's pull you out. Yeah, that is nicely embedded right on top. A couple of them are coming off. Why though? Okay, these were not the ones that were stuck on there. All right, these are cute. I like the height on this one. And the next variation that we have yet to do is going to be the carrot one. So I'm going to take a nice generous dollop like so. Hold my cupcake down and we're just going to put the nice dollop on top. You see, this is a way better method. So I feel like they need to give two tongs to make this work. No, no, tongs, do not betray me. There you go. And now we have to decide how do we want the carrot to show. I kind of want the carrot to be upright-esque, kind of like this. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. It's way too cute for its own good. Way too cute. So we're gonna freeze this in time with our little UV light. Voila. And here is that super cute carrot with the frosting. And since the process is basically the same, I went ahead and did a variance of each of them, just moving things and pieces around to make it a little bit more interesting. And now we're going to place it on our display and ta-da, here is our absolutely adorable cupcake spring slash Easter themed cupcakes. I don't know why they call it spring when it has very much so bunnies and eggs everywhere. I would love to actually see a spring edition. Just putting it out there for those of us who don't do Easter. I just still think Easter is fun because it's colorful. <laughs> All right, so now is going to be the interesting bit where we're going to try and hope that we get the Willy Wonka. I really, really, really want that Willy Wonka. And apparently, according to TikTok, I am bringing a scale here because the Willy Wonka one should be the lightest of the hams. So right now, we do have ham. So we're gonna check out here. So here we have it zero. Let's put the first ham in. This one's 100 even. That's pretty good. 100 grams, how about you? 110, this might be it. Why do I have goosebumps right? I legit have goosebumps. Okay, this is 110, 111, how about you? What are you? 101. This one's definitely heavier. Okay, let's open the heaviest of the hams. We know that we have two lighter ones. 10 grams is a big difference. So let's go ahead and open the heavier one first. I don't know if you want to bring a scale with you when you're shopping. All right, let's see here. Why is this so difficult? Why? Come on. Okay, we know this is normal because this is the purple wrapping. I'm, I'm really hopeful here. And full, oh gosh. Let's just rip through. Why is the ham giving me a hard time? Voila. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven surprises in this one. And it is pretty flat and it, okay. So that is our plate for the ham. Second surprise we get, oh, look at these tiny pineapples. Those are cute. It says Happy Sun Farms. Let's open you up and see the pineapple slices. My goodness, that's a lot of pineapple. Having something sweet and savory is not uncommon, especially here in Quebec. We have maple syrup ham and maple syrup bacon. So those are usually great combinations. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite sweet and salty combination? Maple bacon is really up there or even chocolate bacon is pretty good too. Next is sun baked sweets. It has, oh, there we are. Here we get our cherries. They look super cute. They always give us so many cherries, but I'm not going to complain for extra material. And this is pretty chunky. What are you? This is our glaze. So this is going to be our glaze for the ham. I'm pretty sure it's going to be similar to the chicken or turkey that we did last time. What's it say over here? What's that even say? Oh my God, I can't see. To be honest, I can't really tell what it says on the first. Is it ham it up? I think it says ham it up, sunshine and warm hugs. Ham it up, that's a little weird. But we have a picture of a ham sliced and then the bunny sun. And here's what it looks like all the way around. Jump into spring. Oh, this has gotta be the ham. She chunk, oh my goodness. Wait a minute, it's actually wrapped. Here it is all wrapped up. And here it says, Happy Sun Farms. Looks like we get slices too. How do I open you? Definitely need a sharp pointy thing for this. There we go. That's really cool. So here is, oh gosh. <laughs> here is our ham. Looks like slices. Is this slices? Or is that just, oh, did I break you? No, I think these are slices though. There you go. Oh my goodness. Look at the texture on the inside of these slices. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful detailing. My goodness, I'm impressed. And I'm going to guess this is probably our resin. Have a hoppy day. Are you our resin? A spice rub? Oh, wow. That actually does look like spices. 
So here's, it's so cute. This is really cute. Y'all stop it, it's cute. Where's our resin? Oh wait, we did, we did get our resin, it was the glaze. Ignore me. And this is for sure going to be, my guess, something to actually glaze with. Yep, we got a silicone, silicone brush and the tweezer things. Okay, let's see what the instructions tell us to do. Got it. And according to the instructions, we're going to glaze the slices and the ham, add the spice rub, and then put the pineapple and the cherries on top, harden it, and then put more glaze on everything. Okay, I can do that. All right, so first things first, we have our plate, and I'm going to angle our ham so it's facing towards the outside. I think that's gonna be good. And then, how do we do this? Because we need spice rub on these things. I think I'm gonna have to do these on the side. So unfortunately, not this little cap open it's the entire the entire thing hello is there more tape how do I open you how do I, is this stuck so it was indeed stuck I went ahead and got pliers and pulled them right out again I love the detail on the ham it even looks like it has little char marks over here let's put you oh goodness that is very very liquidy oh my goodness okay there we go we'll get a nice glaze on that and we're gonna I'm gonna do this ham. I feel like I need to do half at a time. Is the whole ham supposed to be glazed? Because I feel like I'm, I'm definitely doing it a disservice. There we go. And I think I got, I think I got most of it. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I got most of it. And now we have the spice rub. So we're gonna shove that right on top. I don't wanna be heavy handed, but I don't really have that much of a choice in how much I'm putting. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Absolutely amazing. This looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. I love it. And we freeze it in time with our UV light. And in order to get our ham slices in the same way, I went ahead and glazed that top with the silicone, silicone spatula, and then added the spice rub on both of them. Is it silicone or silicone? I think it's silicone. Many of you are yelling at me in the comments. Teach me. <laughs> Look how adorable these ham slices are looking on that actual plate with the ham. Now to make my life easier, instead of putting the pineapple and then the cherries on top, I went ahead and used the UV resin immediately to put the cherries in the pineapples and then harden the pineapples on the actual ham. And I went ahead and copied as best as possible the actual recommendation of what the product is supposed to look like. And then we added a little bit more glaze, a little bit of everywhere so that things can stick on the plate. Let me know what you think. Do you like this one? I actually really Really like it for some odd reason. Something about the spice rub is just adding a little extra oomph for me. Now for the moment of truth we have two in the ham packaging that is way lighter than the other one so do we actually get the Willy Wonka special edition? Let's go ahead and start with the first one. And again I'm not the one who figured this rule out. Apparently there's a whole community about this who said that it is absolutely in the ham packaging. Oh! <laughs> This is gold, right? Get out of here. The weight makes a difference. Bring a scale. In order for it to be the Willy Wonka, it needs to be 100 grams. 100 grams, 101, a little less than 100 is all fine, but it can't be the heavier one. Oh my goodness. It actually worked. Oh my God. Oh my god, I am, I am really excited about this. So my guess is the next ham that we have is also a golden limited edition. So I'm gonna keep that aside. Let's open you. Oh my god. Okay, this is not, I don't have time for you. I just wanna open you and see what's inside. Oh my god. Look at that, it has the W for Willy Wonka, but we're also winning, if I might say. <laughs> okay, let's see, we have one, two, three. Oh my god, even the wrappers are different. Four, five, six surprises. What the shrimp? We have the little stand that also comes, oh my God, come on, get in. That comes so excited, I'm like, I just get in there. That comes in the gold edition, so here it is. And the wrappers are very different from the previous one that we unboxed. This is really cool. So here it says, fizzy lifting drink. All right, first one we have is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what is all this? We have the chocolate. So this is two tubes of resin with nozzles. That's pretty neat. Next surprise, this one's pretty flat. It says Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Feels like, oh, feels like it's paper or cardboard of some sort. Let's get you opened up. And you are, oh, a box? Okay, so we have a box and we're gonna figure out what this is for, but that is neat. That is really, really neat. Oh wait, I almost threw this away. Oh my goodness. 
that's in the same wrapper. We have the bars and the aluminum foil that goes around each chocolate bar. That's crazy. That's really crazy. I'm so surprised we got it. <laughs> so to be honest, when I went over there, I knew that it was the ham. I tried to measure it with my hand. Like this one's lighter, this one's heavier, but just in case, let's take two that are feeling lighter. So I highly recommend if you do have a mini scale, bring a mini scale with you. All right, this one is the Wonka hat. What are you? Oh, we have tiny silicone molds for the chocolate here. And even the chocolate, let's zoom in a little more, has W on them. So these are chocolate bars. Okay, anything else? I don't wanna miss out. And then this one feels pretty soft, so I don't know what this could be. Oh, okay, more floofy things. What is that written? Oompa Loompa approved. So I'm guessing this is going to be for the box. Nothing else in here. What does it say? There's the silhouette of Willy Wonka. Now the Willy Wonka that I'm most familiar with because they used to play old movies a lot when I was a kid in Egypt is the musical old school version. The first one. That one's the one I remember the most where it starts off with a scene with all the grandparents sleeping in one bed. I think that's the one. <laughs> but here it is. Not sure what it says. And I'm not sure what's in here either. What is that? <gasps> the golden ticket. Stop. Let's take out that golden ticket. Oh my goodness. And it's sealed? Stop. Oh my goodness. <gasps> look at it. Look at this golden. It's actually, look at that very shiny golden ticket. Let's zoom in. For those of you who want to pause, feel free to pause and read. But here you have it. The golden ticket. That is, that is crazy. We can actually put that in one of the chocolate bars. I'm going to leave it here on the side so I don't lose it. And last but not least, this is likely our tongs and whatever we need, which is just the tongs and the top part of the cap, which you can put and use it to move this around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's check the instructions. And according to the instructions, it's an ultra rare, and this is what it's supposed to look like. So you make a few chocolate bars, and in one of them, we can insert the golden ticket. So let's see what it looks like in the back. So basically, we put the chocolate in the mold. We wrap the gold. Interesting. I didn't know the golden ticket was supposed to be wrapped horizontally. And then you start folding the aluminum foil, and then put it in a wrapper, and then put that inside the box. Okay, we could do that. All right, so first thing we're going to do is open up our chocolate chocolate resin. Remember, this is not edible. As cute as it may look, this is definitely not edible. All right, our nozzle is right on there. And we're gonna go ahead and squirt into each of these little cubes and hope that we don't get any kind of air pockets. This is going to be a little challenging because as soon as I let go of the squeeze, we're gonna have an air pocket. So I'm just gonna give it a few seconds to come back down. No air pocket. Oh, there we go. Squeeze nice and slow. Very nice. Yes. Get a good continuous flow into here. Am I messing up? I am messing up. Oh gosh. I definitely did not. Oh my God. No, air pocket. No. Slow and steady. Very nice. We do not want air pockets. What do we say to air pockets? Not today. Not today. All right, that's our first chocolate bar. Wait, we did not finish that one. No air pocket. No bubble. No, no. There's a little bubble, but I can pop it. Don't worry. It's on top. Just going to push it. There. And we're gonna do the second one because we definitely want two chocolate bars. I'm not gonna make all of them with all of the resin, but we're gonna make two. I have to say one of the things that I did notice is the mold is a little warped on the edges here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep my fingers on the edges here as I put the UV light to go on. Light on and flatten it. A few moments later. And just to be sure now that we did two minutes on this side, I'm going to actually flip it over and do two minutes on the other side. In the meantime, let's see what these wrappers look like because I feel like we would need at one point glue, but what are you? Is that double-sided tape? No, that is actual tape. Oh my God, I love this project so much. That is such a premium project. So we have the wrappers for, okay, six chocolates. I don't think this project can make six chocolates because we barely made two chocolate bars with one, but maybe there's enough for one more. I highly doubt it, but maybe that's the case. And then we have the tiny actual foil paper. All right, let's do this. Let's unmold our tiny chocolates. We're gonna start with this one. Oh my goodness. If that's not cute, I don't know what is. And we did pretty good. We don't really have air pockets 
on the top and the bottom not too bad looks more realistic if it has tiny bits of bubbles and then next one let's see how we did on the air pockets here again none we did good we did very good we really did avoid them all right the question i have now yeah definitely the golden ticket is way too big so we do actually have to wrap it around i do feel bad bending the golden ticket and having to wrap it around a i feel bad but i think that's how it's done oh gosh we don't have a choice we do not have a choice. We're gonna wrap it around like this. And according to the instructions, we're supposed to put this face down. Now the instructions are not too clear, but I think it's said to fold the edges. So we're gonna fold the edges ever so slightly and like a so, and then fold this in like that. Oh gosh, chocolate, do not move. Do not move, Willy Wonka. <coughs> don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it like this. Okay, so far so good, so far. So good. That's looking good. Okay, this is looking good. Now we fold it over. Yes. Yes. Oh, that is looking fantastic. Now we take the other wrapper, put it on top, fold it around like a so. Very nice. And now we look for that sheet. Did I drop the sticker sheet? Sticker sheet, where are you? Sticker sheet. Sticker. Okay, I found it. Apparently it decided to go under my chair for some weird reason. <laughs> And we're gonna take one of these little tapes out and stick it right in the back. That is beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this tiny chocolate bar. That is absolute, this is really fun. I am loving this so much. Now, before I do the second one, I've been keeping the resin bottle upside down because it does say we're supposed to make six of them, which means each one of these tiny bottles is supposed to give us three. Now that I'm feeling it, it does feel bottom heavy. So we should be able to get a third chocolate from this here. So let's see if that's the case. It's been upside down for about 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna do the same process to try and avoid too many air pockets. Looks like it might give. Very nice, so far so good. Okay, take a little break. It's gonna get an air pocket from here, get rid of that and continue. Yeah, looks like we are going to be okay. We should have our six chocolates. You just have to make sure that your bottle stays upside down for that third one. Taking a little break, air pocket again and squeeze. Voila, beautiful. There's an air pocket right here though. And I'm just gonna take the piece of paper here, pop and pop. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm, I love this project. I feel like I could do all of them just for fun because they are really cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and harden this one. So the good news is you can get your entire set. And I went ahead and did the second chocolate. I'm not gonna do all six right now, but you can see how they look like now that they're fully done. And I'm gonna floof the, the stuffings up and put it in the box. And seriously, this is probably one of the cutest projects ever. It's chocolate, it's simple, but it's fun. And here are all the projects that we got, including the super rare special limited edition. Let me know which one of these four is your favorite. If you want to watch more crafts, make sure you check up here. If you want to catch something that is more mystery box unboxings, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. So a lot of the times, because video time needs to be a lot quicker on the main channel, I tend to do a lot of the slower crafting off camera, but I figured y'all probably would enjoy Oh gosh, I need to take the frosting first. Ah! Nope. <laughs> There's so much chaos behind the camera. There's already chaos on the camera, but the fact that I'm putting less chaos on the camera just tells you how much more chaos there is off camera. 